So, we have a question, guys, and that question is, who would win in a fight, Evolve Godzilla or Mecha Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong 2021? Who would win in a fight between these two titans? And I know the YouTuber who's an insanely popular, Danko, I think he's called Dan Co, whatever you want to call him. He made his own take on this fight. It's about 11 minutes long. Watch that video before watching this video. It'll make a lot of sense, my opinions, after. But this is going to be much shorter. And overall, a much more different outcome will be in this video. So, who would win in a fight? <coughs> so, overall... Basically, it's not even a he would win in a fight at this point. This is why Evolve Godzilla would destroy legendary Mecha Godzilla in a fight with very little difficulty. And when I say little difficulty, I mean very little difficulty. So yeah, let's get into it. Now, just as Danko said, Evolve Godzilla practically is taking every single category against Mecha Godzilla in a fight, which is partially true. I mean, sure, he's probably not as, not as fast as Mecha G, but he's definitely almost as fast as Mecha G in this fight. And I think he'd be dodging hits left, right and centre and throwing them as fast as he is, if not faster than dodging them. Uh, I do... I do like, guys, this is a controversial opinion, just just hear me out on this one, but I don't think Legendary Godzilla in this form would be able to create as powerful breath attacks as friggin' Thermonuclear Godzilla as supercharged pulses. They're nowhere near as powerful as those pulses. Those pulses ripped Boston and King Ghidorah to pieces at the exact same time. That's because of... That's, and I know what they say. Oh, well, well subatomic of supercharged Godzilla, whatever you want to call it, natural thermal Godzilla is about equal power to thermal nuclear. That's not true. Thermal nuclear is not natural. It's, be, it's a new form of Godzilla. Thermal nuclear is unnatural. It's not natural to this world whatsoever. And it's what happens when Godzilla and Mothra make a symbiotic connection, in, in other words, and just team up to form one ultra-powerful being. And I'd say it's basically... Subatomic Godzilla is basically a less powerful version of female nuclear because if he was female nuclear and he really wanted to kill those french people in the jets in the film and i don't think i genuinely don't think he would have just used his hands or atomic breath i think he would have used way more pulse attacks and these pulse attacks sure we probably i think i forgot a lot of the film but Pretty sure he did use one at least. Yeah, he used one. But that one's nowhere near as powerful as the real thermonuclear or unnatural thermonuclear is. So, who wins this fight? Oh, yeah, and to top it all off, Sub Evolved Godzilla's pretty much confirmed to be weaker than thermonuclear. So, I'd say Evolved Godzilla wins again, but uh, there's one more thing I want to go over here in this fight. And that's Evolve Godzilla's sheer power. It's said that Evolve Godzilla is technically the biological version of Mecha Godzilla. That's stronger, bigger, and faster. If this video gets enough likes, about mm, 10, 15 likes, even like, if it, if, it, if it reaches 30, I'll make two videos. If it reaches 15 or half that goal, I will make. King Ghidorah vs Evolve Godzilla, Legendary of course, and I will be seeing who wins, so I'd say Legendary Godzilla would win, 
pretty much no difficulty. The reason why is because it's literally seen. Like, let's go back to the comics. Godzilla fought Tima in his base form and almost died. Yet, yet even in his supercharged form, it's like twice less powerful as evolved Godzilla. Gets absolutely decimated, beaten in a fight by Tima. Not, no, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, I messed that up. He decimates Team at, he rips Team at to shreds. I'm sorry, Team at fans. And I'm sad too that Team at that had to die in that film, but she just did. So, yeah, overall, Mecha Godzilla loses. Of all Godzilla winning, no difficulty. No diff. Hopefully, you enjoy and bye. See ya.